Seattle City Council members started laying out a roadmap for defunding police, and that includes a proposal to create a new department to handle some of SPD's current work. Kyber 7's Michael Spears is live tonight in Seattle, and Michael, some activists say City Council is still falling short. Council member Deborah Juarez even acknowledged that, saying she does not see city council getting to that 50% cut this year as they discuss the millions of dollars, Dave, that could still be moved out of the department's budget. Some want the job done quickly, regardless of the bargaining hurdles. Somehow the monies cannot be dispersed while the negotiations are going on. That's not true. Others, like budget chair Teresa Mosqueda, are focused on 2021. What we have put in front of us is a pathway. She outlined Friday up to $169 million in potential cuts to SPD's $409 million budget that includes cutting at least 136 sworn officers. There is the risk that if we, uh, you know, that the bargaining process will not go as planned and we might have to pay that money back. Risks discussed ahead of city council's first vote next week on the cuts detailed in dozens of proposed SPD budget amendments. More than a dozen officers alone could be cut who work with the city's navigation team. City council members also introduced a resolution to create a civilian-led Department of Community Safety and Violence Prevention to take in some of SPD services like 911 dispatching, while SPD would remain a smaller, separate department. It's time to redefine what public safety is in this city. Protesters gathering another day, from Rainier Beach to downtown, to demand the city reinvest that money into the community. On Instagram, King County Equity Now and Decriminalize Seattle said in part, Council's amendments are a step forward, but fall well short of the community's demands. Council member Deborah Juarez warned about writing checks that can't be cashed. How we actually defund the police department by reallocating with a plan, not a pledge. Now, today the city said council can make specific requests for reductions, but it's ultimately up to Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best to decide which areas she maintains and which areas she shrinks. As far as moving forward, council will continue these talks on Monday with the vote scheduled for Wednesday. Live in downtown Seattle, I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.